Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And today we are going to Spain. Uh, not necessarily, because I actually got this bottle when I was over in Portugal last year. Yes, we actually managed to get away on holiday despite all the stuff that was happening on last year. God knows what that was, eh? <laughs> there, there we go. Um, yeah, so today I have got a bottle of Sidra Compera from... Meloc? Melo? I'm sorry, my pronunciation of Spanish is not good, but um, I'm assuming it's Melo, Meloc, something, something along those lines. Uh, and yeah, they're Sidra con Pero, or Pear Cider in this case. Um, I don't have a lot of information on this. I have actually had one of um, this cider company's range before. I think it was many, many, many years ago. I'll um, pop a card up on the top of the screen so you can go and watch it after this one. Um, but generally, I think these guys aren't actually too bad. They're definitely um, they're definitely a little bit better than the usual mass-marketed stuff. Uh, but the good thing is there is a little bit of English on the back here. So, it's an apple cider with pear. So, in a way, it's sort of a pider. Except not really, because it's 10% cider. Mm. Um, oh, cider with, sorry, it's cider with 10% pear juice from concentrate. So, not a real cider in this case. Um, and as you can see, it comes in these really dinky little 200 milliliter bottles. I'm sure there's going to be other ranges um, out there as well, down in the description. I'll put them there. And uh, this is a pretty average 4% ABV. Uh, so yeah, pear juice and concentrate obviously means that it's not a real cider, but that doesn't stop it from winning bronze in the International Cider Challenge Awards. So that's got something going for it. Um, now, Spoiler alert, I have had this before. Um, it was in a four pack, hence why it was coming in such small bottles, but I'm sure it's in like 500 mils and 750 or something like that um, as well. Now, the cool thing is it doesn't have um, a normal bottle top. It has one of those ring pull things that um, I've only really ever seen on bottles of Tuborg before. It's not a common thing over in the UK. Not a lot of um, company, in fact, no companies do it as far as I'm aware. But yeah, it's really cool. So let's just get the uh, the ring pull off and uh, I'll let you know what I make of it. There's that hiss. See it? There you go. Give it a little, give it a little pull and off it pops. So, ooh, slight, uh, there's a sl slight vinegary quality to this. I didn't get that last time. I don't know whether it's because it's been um, allowed to sit for quite a while, but yeah, I didn't get that off the nose before. But bearing in mind this was in uh, this was in Portugal in like you know mid thirties heat, so I don't know whether your smells and tastes change over there. But there we go. Right, so as you can see from the colour, it's uh, lightly sparkling, completely clear. As you can see, it has been filtered down. Um, yeah, light carbonation, nice light golden colour there. Little bit of um, foam resting on the top there, but as with um, every cider and peri and pear cider and everything in between, that's going to disappear relatively quickly, I would say. So, what does it smell like in the glass? Let's find out. There's the pear. Smells, ex smells exactly like pear drops. Literally just pear drops. With a slight... Um, this is going to say... In the bags of pear drops that you get, there's always the yellow ones and the red ones. It smells more like the yellow ones that you could get. I don't know the difference between the two, but there was definitely a different smell and taste to them. So, definitely yellow pear drops I'm getting on this. With a sweet apple overtone to it as well. That vinegary quality that was on the bottle is completely gone. Definitely smells sweet. It's got aromas of um, almost like... Uh, like an apple crumble sort of thing. Sweet, lightly, lightly spicy. But overall, it smells really nice. So let's go and uh, dive in, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Yeah, let's see what Melok has to order with, uh, has to order, has to offer with their Cedra Compera. Cheers. Taste is pretty much like the smell, actually. Sweet, right off the bat. Those pear drop flavours come through as well. It's uh, sort of got a 
definitely a, a sweet shop candy vibe to it for sure. Full body. Not sure if it's um, thick and syrupy just yet. It doesn't say that it contains um, sugars or anything like that. I don't know if any have been uh, put in, but I would imagine the pear juice from concentrate is probably going to add uh, to the thickness of the body. Super easy to drink. I mean, it's only 4% ABV anyway. Slight... Um, I want to say slight candy floss texture, but that's going to sound really weird. There's definitely a sort of a grainy texture behind it, and with the sweetness, it, it's almost akin to a, like you've just bitten into candy floss or something like that. Just a, like, I don't know, like a woody quality to it. It's very strange. That's actually just reminded me not it, it's coincidental that um well one long time viewers uh derpy derp eric Bryan, the guy that uh, sent me over the ciders from new zealand um he literally put a review of another um bottle of meloc on uh, untapped and he's pretty much had the same description of it as it was warming up almost like a cotton cottony sort of texture behind it and that is definitely what i'm getting like candy floss something like that just a it's hard to describe unless you taste a bit. It's like a woolly, cottony sort of texture. It's a little bit bizarre, but it's not terrible, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, overall, this isn't bad. For, for a country like the UK, this is probably going to be in the line of, you, you will see it on like supermarket shelves next to like, you know, Magnus and Magnus and whatnot. But I tell you what, for the country that it comes from, this is definitely going to be a really refreshing cider to have. It's just got the ni a nice, the nice balance of sweetness without being overly sweet. And with it being so easy to drink as well, you can see why it comes in like little four packs as well. Because you just like crack one open and just enjoy it in the sun for sure. Let's get a final taste before a final verdict. Now there is a little bit of um, little bit of cloying up at the back of the throat, probably from the pear juice from concentrate. To be fair, but yeah, this bottle is definitely not going to last long at all. I mean, it was only two hundred mils as well, so you're definitely not going to get absolutely blottoed off this. You'd probably have to have like eight bottles of it before you even start feeling the effects of it. So if you are in Spain, in Portugal, or something like that, I mean, I picked this up in um, like a tiny, a, a little like corner shop, just. Uh, not far from where we were staying. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't expensive at all. I think it was something like four euros. It might have been even less than that. So definitely more on the, on the cheaper end as well, but the tastes are definitely a lot better than the usual mass marketed um, rubbish that you do find on the supermarket shelves. So if you have ever wondered what these guys are like definitely give them a go i'll uh, i said there's going to be a card with the other one that i've tried of theirs as well so yeah i'm relatively impressed with meloc i shall definitely have to um find out the rest of their range if i ever go abroad i'm sure i will hopefully if not this year maybe next with that said for a final verdict i'm actually going to go and give meloc's sidra compera a 7 out of 10 Definitely uh, worth checking out. Naturally, it's not going to blow your socks off, but for a nice, easy drinking, refreshing and nice tasting Sidra, you can't go wrong with this. And with that said, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it. And as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, I probably give myself about five minutes to finish off the rest of this bottle. We'll see, eh? Take care, guys. Till next time.